Okay, guys, of everything I've filmed so far, look, I got this staph infection. It started in late August, and a lot of it's cleared up. And this is the gross, yes. So I'm inclined not to put this on the internet, but I might. Now, what I want to show you, first of all, is my arms are mostly healed up. Okay? We're talking about, let's see, it's November now, late November. And my right arm was the worst one. Right? But it's clearing up, clearing up. Scars, a lot of scars. This is a staph infection, okay? Alright, glug, glug, glug. Now, even though a lot's clearing up, this thing right here used to be like this thing is. That I think that's called an escher. And I'm trying to remove it because these things can grow, man. These I've seen pictures where this starts growing into your flesh. So this is where it's gross. But like I said, this is for posterity, and I might not put this on the internet. But I just want to show you a little little bit about how tough these things are. See, I already started in on it a little. There was about four of these I've had total. One was on my chest. One was right here. This is another one. There's one starting on my shoulder, kind of. But just not this bad. So, so let me put this over here. Alright. Just show you how fucking tough this is. This is a razor sharp little scalpel type mechanism. I'll just show you how fucking tough this is right here. Alright, so I pick away at it. I do it slow. I do it slow. But you, you, you can't peel this crap off. It's like a little leather. It was like a little leather disc. I worked at it. You know, I got about half of it off. I realized that the rest might come off because it's happened before. See, I'm just picking under it, picking under the skin. And you, you, you could uh, Google it. Google uh, staph infection, and you can see how ugly this gets if you let it start to grow. And there's some other ailments of the skin. You could Google skin debridement. And a necrotic ulcer, skin ulcer, a necrotic skin ulcer, where, where the stuff is just dead. Like I said, I'm not trying to be gross, but I went through an ordeal where something just attacked my skin all over my body. Okay? So, so this thing's like leather. This thing is like leather right here. It just will not separate from my body, you know? This little disc of leather right here. Before it comes off, if it comes off, you have to leave these things uh, alone for a few days, I kind of find out. And just let them have their way, actually. That's, that's just my experience. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. And then you soften, soften them up with, uh, what, which I've been doing is this uh, sulfur. And I've mixed a couple things in there. Um, Permethrin, just in case I, I did have bed bugs. But I think I'm going to get this one eventually. I think this one's going to come off like a couple of others have come off before. It's not very painful anymore. I've come to learn how to get these things off, you know, by scraping under them and not hitting the skin directly. Like I said, you know, this is like leather. This thing is like leather. It's about to come off, I think. But before it does, I'm going to do one more close-up. Okay, try to get to the light. See this? I'll try to get it so you can see oh, my fingers covering it. I'm trying to show 
how it's leather, you know? It's, you, you pull it, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's stationed in there. See that? It's like leather, and that's not focusing too great. See that? It's like leather. This thing's like leather, you see? This, la 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 uh, this razor sharp thing, it takes like 15, 20 minutes to really scrape and get under and get this thing out. Now, if you look under pictures, when you get a staph infection, this thing will go into your skin. It'll burrow. I'm no dermatologist. I'm no dermatologist. But I became a little bit afraid. And uh, there's something called... Uh, if this is car, car, carcin car, carcinoma, there's different kind of carcinomas. If you look up basal cell, squamous cell, um, those two in particular, there's something called Mo, M O H, Mo's surgery, where where you know they have to do some cutting of the carcinoma to get it out, otherwise it spreads. But I can't afford that, really, and, you know, I've learned to get it done this way, and it's about to come out, I think. But this razor-sharp still has a hard time, you know, getting this thing off. So I'm not sure if I'm going to show this. I'm not sure if I'm going to post this. It's just people are going to think I'm trying to gross them out, which I'm not. Actually, not trying to gross them out. But I just want want people to know this was an ordeal I went through, man. Like, oh, there it goes. There it goes. It went. It went. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to drop it. But there's some still left. Okay, there's still some left. And uh, this little piece of leather right there which is like leather, you know, flip it around real quick, you know, the, the thing that just dropped, by the way, that's where I put a lot of my freaking scabs, and I want to go to a dermatologist and take this there, you know, just uh, put this thing in there, right, now, now it's one of the many scabs I've I've had over the months and you can see a little bit is still there you can see and that's what scares me because this stuff starts to burrow in but I've been taking some antibiotics I've been putting antibiotics on on the wounds I got from eBay because the uh, urgent care wouldn't prescribe me anymore and you know I'm afraid of Losing a limb or something. So, I'm not trying to be gross, guys. But, that's what you got going on. You know, I'm going to have all these scars now. See see right there? That's a... I'm going to have these scars from where, you know, I had uh, these sores. A lot of them have healed up, as you can see. But, this is one of the last ones. And my left arm was pretty bad. I'm going to have scars there. So, that's just the state of how things went, man. So, let's have another beer and glug, 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 glug. I'm not wearing a shirt right now, so. People are going to say, oh, he's trying to look all sexy. No, I don't know what they're going to say. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.